Alfie, welcome to Charlton. How does it feel to be here? Yeah, delighted. Um, I think there's been a few rumours the last couple of weeks, um, but yeah, no, buzzing to be here. And there's been plenty of interest in you this summer. What will it mean to you to play for Charlton? Yeah, it's massive. Um, sort of local lad. Um, so yeah, to, to come to come back home uh, with with my family and yeah, it means a lot. So yeah, uh, can't wait to get started. And how have your conversations with the manager gone? Yeah, really well. Um, I think he's the same as me. I think we was sort of hearing the rumours and the understanding of what's actually going to happen. And I think we're both just uh, happy to sort of get it done and, and start working together. And you've played at the Valley and scored there a few times before. And you were also part of the Doncaster side in the 2019 playoff semi-final. What did you make of the atmosphere that night? Yeah, it was... Uh, it was a it was unbelievable atmosphere. Obviously, um, being on the losing side wasn't wasn't too too great. Um, but you, you see the support that it, it has here and and what it sort of brings as as a stadium. And when when they get going and and sort of get get you going as as, as a player, you sort of want to be a part of that. So yeah, it's uh, it's, it's it's a good um, it's a good atmosphere. And you've scored 43 goals in League One across the past two seasons. How much have you enjoyed your football in that spell? Yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Um, played with a lot of uh, a lot of freedom and sort of just was really relaxed in, in in everything that I was doing and sort of trying to trying to work hard to 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 get them goals. Um, obviously, you couldn't you couldn't do it without your teammates um, and everything sort of. That, that I did sort of went through the team and, and worked really hard, yeah. And it's fair to say you've got a screamer in you as well. Peterborough away stands out. Is that one of your standout career goals? It must be. Yeah, it, yeah, probably probably won't score a better goal. Um, but I think I preferred the second goal, sort of more more clinical with with that um, technique and etc. So yeah, the the halfway line goal probably won't be topped. But yeah, I'll try again and again in a Charlton shirt. And you've won plenty of awards at Cheltenham in the past two seasons. And we were there on the final day when you scooped loads of them. You're running across from the other side to the near side to get them all. How proud are you of that? Yeah, yeah, really thinking it was probably my, my last game as, as a Cheltenham player. Um, so it was nice to sort of pick up the awards and having my family and, and friends in, in the crowd to see it. Um, yeah, it was, was probably a bit of an emotional day for me. You become our third summer signing, and as we said, you bring plenty of goals as well as the goals. What what is Alfie made a player like? Yeah, just for me, um, I like to, to I like to play on the shoulder, um, and the main thing you get for me is is hard work. Um, I think that comes from probably my non-league days uh, when I was playing for Hive Town and a, a local club round the corner here from Belvedere. Um, I've always worked hard. At, I know when when to work and. That's probably the the main thing you'll get from me. And you've been here at Sparrows Lane today. What have you made of the facilities? Yeah, it's changed when I was uh, when I was probably age five uh, coming down here. Um, but yeah, the the training facilities is, is brilliant. You can see the gym and and everything around the place. So yeah, it's 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 a good feel. And how has your pre-season gone so far? You've been in training with Cheltenham, of course. Yeah, it's been it's been a, a strange one. Um, like I say, with all the all the rumours and probably a lot of Cheltenham fans didn't expect me to to be there in pre-season. But as a footballer, you just sort of crack on and and keep doing your job. Um, so yeah, just sort of getting up to speed now and and like I say, delighted to sort of get this one sealed. And you were saying off camera that you know Jack Payne. How excited are you to get in and amongst it with the rest of the lads? Obviously, we're heading to Spain on Sunday for a pre-season tour. How much are you looking forward to that? Yeah, I think pre-season tours are, are really important. Um, sort of the, the team bonding that you can sort of have uh, as a group of players and getting to, especially as a new lad, you getting to know new faces and picking up ideas uh, sort of on the, on the training pitch, you're, you're a close-knit group and I think that's, that's a big thing in a changing room. Um, togetherness is, is, is such a big, big success um, for a football club. So, so yeah, pre-season tours, really good to, to, get, to get going and like I say, getting some sun on Sunday, hopefully.
And looking ahead to the season, what do you hope to achieve personally and as a team as well? Yeah, I have, I have, my, I have my own goals um, from the start of the season. Fortunately, I can't tell you them. Um, but I go up in stages in goals, assists. Um, but listen, the, the, the main thing, as like I say, as, as a, a collective group, you, you want to win games. It's the, the job that we do. You, you, you're in this industry to win games and uh, you want to put, put performances on week in, week out. To, to the supporters that travel up and down the country. Um, so for me, yeah, it's, it's listen, it's, it's, Charlton's a massive club. Um, so we want, you want to sort of be in and around with, with the other big clubs and you want to compete. So it's important that we, we sort of hit the ground running. Best of luck. Thank you.